So Bungie just released not only a trailer for Shadowkeep, but also a video explaining more in depth of what's coming for Shadowkeep. Quite a few things are coming. These aren't all the changes specified from their video, but these are a few points I wanted to really go in depth with you guys. So let's start off from the beginning. So in this DLC, it seems like old villains are coming back. We see Crota, Atheon, and Gary, and we do see some fallen captains. They look familiar. Uh, let me know who they are in the comments below, but they're escaping me right now. So, on one hand, I love it uh, because Crota is my favorite fucking raid boss. Uh, that He's basically the reason why I met my raid group and why I have like eight best friends. But on the other hand, I've already seen these guys. I have killed them already. So, I think the only way this is going to work for me is if they show... Sabathun, which would make sense she's, she's the mo she's the one that's like all about tricks and shit and correct me if i'm wrong but didn't she like become the uh, the taken queen already like we saw in one strike i don't remember which one but there was a boss which was taken but it was a red legion so the taken king didn't do that because red legion wasn't even a thing so it's either Sabathun or shiba or wrath either way show me these two and i'll lose my shit and i'll be like cool whatever do you do you let me know what you guys think about this i personally would love to see sabathun fucking finally after all this time or shiva wrath shiva wrath would be dope as well especially since she's a god of war like that would be fucking insane so next thing on the list is that customizing is coming in to such a deeper level and in a better way. Armor is apparently getting a revamp of more customizing options, like being able to choose perks and mods, which could essentially mean that any armor in the game, and I mean any armor in the game from Destiny 2 Vanilla to like Shadow Keep, is all viable. You'll be able to wear all of that and not weaken your character. Like, that's a fucking amazing idea. Like, we're going to be able to have all our armor for everything. Like, I love this so much because we're finally going to be able to see more variety in armor sets. Because one thing I really liked about Destiny 1 is that, like, you could wear pretty much anything you wanted. Sure, granted, like, stuff from Vanilla 1, Destiny 1, like, Year 1 stuff was out because of the new DLCs. But there is a big, like, ton of options you could choose and it was just great like i don't know for me like i made my hunter my own and i made him look badass and that's just how i did it and in destiny 2 it's been really hard to like make my character my own i think just recently in um the for and forsaken dlc i finally made my character the way i wanted him to do to, to be uh and i posted it on my instagram which are links are in the description but it's really cool that we're gonna have this wide view of customizing anything we want because alongside with all these customizing options for our armor we're also getting artifacts so if you're a destiny fan from destiny one you'll remember artifacts i hated them but in this iteration it might be actually really cool especially when they're going to be coming in with perks and the more powerful you make your artifact the more powerful your artifact becomes but it's to a point where the last perks are apparently exotic like which is a terrifying thought but i see so much potential of making your character specifically yours like it's it just it's starting to sound more and more rpg where it's like i can do whatever i want with my character hopefully they let us like actually customize our our subclass as well because that's we miss that we definitely miss that from destiny one being able to just pick and choose what we wanted that was the most beautiful thing in the fucking game but hopefully we'll be able to do that that's it for this part let's go to the next part if i can find my mouse so shadow keep is bringing a lot of new things to the game but one thing that i think is an interesting interesting idea and one i really want to see in game is that now you can perform finishers on enemies and from what i see 
it's not only small enemies it's ogres too like what i i don't know i don't know anyone who asked for finishers i'm not saying this is a negative thing it's just kind of like a huh like okay like sounds cool but i want to know what are the parameters to perform a finisher can you proc it when an enemy has a sliver of health if so what about thralls they go down with just one melee hit every melee to each thrall is going to be a finisher i have so many questions which is not coming from a place of anger like i said or anything negative but out of genuine curiosity like i want to know more i like this idea if you can if you could perform finishers on like raid bosses or like strike bosses that would be fucking cool but i digress so we do we did get introduced to two exotics potential exotics we don't know if they're in the game yet especially the second one i'm pretty sure the first one is because it looks pretty much fucking done um we don't know the name of it but we do know that the first one's a trace rifle that either makes crits appear like like critical damage appear for fellow guardians to shoot at it or it just does critical damage all the time either way interesting idea i want i like i want them to like explain a little more about it because i'm more curious about i'm i'm, a, I'm curious about a lot of shit from this if you, if you guys haven't picked up on that the second one is a hand cannon that's basically a sniper rifle and it even comes with a scope i think this is an awesome idea i hope it comes it's just like that type of loony shit that destiny would have and i really want it to be, like be a thing this is like this is the type of thing Destiny would have, and I really want it to be a thing. I really do, even though it kind of looks like you shoot golden gun shots. But whatever, I'm not bitching about it. So, next up on the list is that Bungie will be trying to make the Crucible better, which is exactly what we need. I'm not really a PvPer. I view myself more on in the line between PvP and PvE. I like to do everything in the game so I can only imagine how great of news this is for people that are more dedicated to the PvP scene than I am. We see Widow's Court from House of Wolves DLC from Destiny 1, which I know a lot of my fan, a lot of my homies are going to be happy about because that map was pretty dope. And if they make that map like Red War themed, that would make it even better. Like that would be really cool. Not only that, but they're redoing the playlist. And they're adding some game modes from the past, which could either mean game modes from Destiny 1, or they could bring back Trials, hopefully. Either way, PvP will hopefully get better. I really hope it gets better. So the location for the new raid is going to be in the Black Garden. I think this is a really good idea, especially since we ended up only seeing like one story mission and a strike, I think. And for me, this is great to see more of, and obviously for the lore, not only that, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this should end up being our third Vex raid, unless they lost control of the Black Garden somehow. But having another Vex raid is going to be cool. I like the, I like the Atheon raid. It was dope as fuck. Everyone and their mom says it's the best raid. I can't really disagree with that, even though my favorite is the Crota raid. But that's just me though. So one change I see garnering a lot of backlash from current Destiny players is what they're calling New Light, which essentially means they're going to give Destiny 2, Curse of Osiris, and Warmind for free. Basically, those parts are becoming free to play. So essentially, you're going to be getting the, those three, um, Destiny 2, Warmind, and Curse of Osiris, and then after you're done with all that, you'll have to buy Forsaken, and then the Season Pass, the three DLCs, whatever. I like the idea that newer newer players don't have to dump a hundred plus dollars to play Destiny 2, but for players like me who did pour in that hundred plus dollars for Destiny 2, it just kind of feels like a slap to the face, especially since I not only played those DLCs, but they were really bad. Curse of the being especially bad since Dark Below from Destiny 1 had more DLC in it. I do hope they do something for current players that not only will they pay for the next DLC, but continue to play it. A prime example being me, I have every collector's edition that Destiny has had. The first with Dinklebot Ghost, second for Taken King and its Strange Coin, and the third for, for Forsaken with the Cage 6 statue. So players like me, it just kind of hurts to see this happen. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for newer players to get into the door without having to spend so much money, but it just kind of sucks. 
And last but not least is that cross save will be coming to Destiny 2, which is something I'm really happy about. But my question to this is for players like me who started on console then switch to PC, how is that going to work? Will you merge counts? Because there's a lot of things I didn't get on PC that I do have on PS4. So it would be great to have those things again. Like, can I get those things back or am I just going to have to choose PC and never have those things again? I would love it if you could go through your inventories on PC and your console to make sure that you're bringing back a certain shotgun from Vanilla D2, Trials of the Nine, that to this day you're still salty as fuck that you didn't get because you got P you got the PC version of this game when, what was it, uh, a month before Forsaken came out and you had to grind for everything else. So yeah, not like I'm speaking from experience or anything, but I'm still kind of salty about that. So you know, it would be dope if you let me choose what I can bring to my main account and then just kind of forget my ps4 account so overall i'm loving some of the news that i'm hearing i'm not gonna lie the new light system has me a little salty but overall this seems like it'll be a good expansion if they can make another taken king or god forbid a forsaken expansion then it'll be great let me know what you guys think of some of the the new things that bungie is thinking about doing what would you guys do differently? And don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Link, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.